Today, in the era of digital technologies, we tend to take the transmission of knowledge for granted. Text and images can be created with ease and shared with millions across the web, or printed in multiple copies at the press of a single button. In the medieval period, however, it was different. If we wanted to obtain a copy of a book, it needed to be laboriously transcribed from another book. This week, we're going to be looking at the making of the Book of Kells. Together with Susie Bioletti and John Gillies, colleagues from the conservation section of the library at Trinity College, and master calligrapher Tim O'Neill, we're going to be exploring some of the skills required and the materials and techniques used in making the Book of Kells. In the early medieval period, the making of a manuscript was specialist work. In order to be scribe, you had to first be able to read and write, and at a time when only a very small portion of the population were literate, this was not a given. You also had to be able to understand the principles of design and the meanings of the art that was to be used to decorate the manuscript. There were also practical considerations. This was a time before the creation of artificial light, or indeed artificial lenses, such as magnifying glasses or reading glasses. So, a scribe had to have excellent eyesight. Coupled with this too, in order to create the minute details that we find in manuscripts such as the Book of Kells, a steady hand would have been required. The materials to make the manuscript also had to be procured. This was a period before the mass production of paper, and across most of Western Europe during the early medieval period, parchment was used, that is, the skins of young animals. The Book of Kells is made from vellum or calf skin.